One of the best things about the pacer is the rotational chest prompt. Rifton makes three sizes of chest prompt for trunk support and when tilted, forward leaning. This is the medium one. Here we have it attached directly behind the main frame uprights. The clamps can be on the inside or outside of the frame, depending on the width of user. The containment strap goes in the front and helps hold the pads together. The back opens for easy transfer. Loosen these two knobs for both the tilt and width adjustments. Although they work separately, the two sides should be adjusted equally. Tighten to secure it in its new position. To adjust the width, first loosen the front straps, then the knobs. Tighten the straps for full support. To make it even wider, move the clamps to the outside of the top bar. Before tightening the knob, slide the clamp to the right position. You can adjust the height with a push of a button. Peter, who we were working with, has really too much extensor tone. And in the past, you know, when we've tried putting him in any gay trainers, he would tend to pick up the front of the walker and the extensor tone would just pull him over backwards, which made it very difficult to even attempt walking with him. Now with the pacer, with the new trunk support, we're able to inhibit some of that extension by tilting it forward, which allows him to start utilizing some more flexors in his legs so he can bring the legs forward, brings the weight forward onto his arms as opposed to just throwing himself backwards into extension. If he can get him forward and keep the good pelvic alignment, and then he's able to start walking.